students today we will learn about the code converters multiplexers demultiplexers encoders and decoders as per the code converters are concerned we have already done the gray code there is any other another codes are bcd code then there is a access three code then there is a a sky code bcd stands for binary coded decimal binary coded decimal as per the access three is concern this is its name is itself say that access three bcd binary which is coded the power of to be all know that binary number a decimal number on right from 0 to 9 and we can compose any digit by using this 0 to 9 so access 3 is 0 plus 3 9 plus 3 means 3 to 12 3 to 12 if i have to write a sky a sky stands for american standard code for information interchange gray code is also known as cyclic code binary coded decimal access three a sky code gray code is not come under the arithmetic codes rest are the arithmetic codes or mathematic codes binary code we will learn about the binary coded decimal bcd 1 by 1 for the anothers also bcd its name itself says that binary coded decimal a number decimal 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have to convert its equivalent binary 1 2 4 8 convert its equivalent binary all zeros one this is one under one two under two there is one three two plus one under two and one four under four there should be one five is a combination of four plus one six is a four plus two seven is a four plus two plus one eight is a one zero zero and nine is a one zero zero one so in this way we write bcd code there is a major disadvantage of the bcd code is that bcd code is that let us say i have to write 3 if i have to write its binary equivalent it would be 11 but in bcd code i have to write 0011 so it means these two zeros are inserted we will discuss in the upcoming lectures there is in a flip flop you have already studied in the b triple you also flip flop is in a one bit memory cell one bit memory cell so each bit requires one flip flop to store it if i have to store this i require two flip flops if i have to store this i require four flip flops means understand it carefully three i can store it by using two flip flops but here i have to use four fill flops it means two fill flops are wasted two fill flops are wasted so there is any drawback basic drawback of binary coded decimal is a only that it requires more storage it requires more storage as per the access 3 is concerned this is the binary coded access 3 i told you that as a name suggests that you have to simply add plus 3 so this would be plus 3 is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 
plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. It would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, I have to write its equivalent x as 3 code. 3, 3. Using the weighted method one two four eight. Again, you have to fill the values as per the weighted rule. Three. This is two plus one. Four under four. There should be one. Five is a combination of four and one. Under four and one, there should be one. Six is a combination of four and two. Under four and two, there should be one. Seven. Comprises of 4, 2, 1. So it would be 0, 1, 4, 2, 1. 8, under 8, you have to write 1. 9 is a composition of 8 and 1. 8 and 1, you have to write under 8 and 1, there should be 1. 10 is composed of 8 and 2. 8 and 2, under 8 and 2, you have to write 1, rest is 0. 11 is 8, 2, 1. 12 is a combination of 8 and 4, under 8 and 4, you have to write. This is your access three code and BCD code. No question is we have to use the converter. Let us say there is an equation you have to convert. You have to convert BCD to access three converter. BCD to access three converter. So you have to design this truth table and mark the values as under BCD, right? B3, B2, B1, B0. Under access three, you write P3, P2, P1, P0. You can write anything. This is the name. This is your input. This is your output. BCT is the input. Access3 is the output. Now, for E3, I will design. It is a four variable K map. Horizontal side B3, B2, vertical side B1, B0, number as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 15. Now, for E3, understand it carefully. How we can fill 0 to 4. You have to fill zeros. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You have to fill zeros. 5 to 9. 5 to 9. You have to fill ones. So, which are unused? Unused are 9 because 4 variable goes up to 15. 10 to 15. Understand it carefully. 10 to 15. These are the unused states. It has to be marked as don't care. We don't know. Either it may be 0 or 1. So rest should has to be marked as don't care. Now we have to make the groups to evaluate the expression. We have to make the groups. Here is in a group of eight. Now, this may be marked as group number one. Group number two, this is a quad. Group number three, this is again quad. For filling up the values, 
just write as zero means B three bar zero B two bar B three bar B two. This we have already done number of times. Just fill up these values. B three B two bar B one bar B not bar B one bar B not B one B not B one B not bar. Now for group number one, this is a octet. Here you will get B three common, right? Here B three. In between these two, B three common. If whole vertical line or horizontal line is there, it will be automatically spiked out. Plus, for the second group, horizontally you will get B two. Vertically you will get B not. Plus, again for the group number three, horizontally you will get B two. Vertically you will get B one. So this is the value of E three. We have got. B three is equals to B two B not plus B two B one. Similarly, we can pursue for the others. Similarly, we can pursue pursue for the E two E one E not E two E one E not. So for E three, what we have computed E three is equals to B three. B two B not right here E three is equals to B three B two B not plus B two B one. Now for E two, same method we will adopt. Same method we will adopt for E two. Here you will find that four variable K map. Write here the values. Draw the K map first. Then horizontally and vertically write B three, B two, B one, B not, zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero. Number it as. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, for E two, zero is zero. One, two, four is one. One, two, three, four is one. Five to eight, it is zero. Five, six, seven, eight. It is zero. Nine is one. So again, unused states are ten to fifteen. Unused states are ten to fifteen. Mark this by. Don't care. Now you have to make the group. Maximum grouping should has to be made by you. It is a One group, rather, this would be one group. These ones are covered over here, and here this can be marked as group number one. This is group number two. Here, these are the quads. No, you can't make the quads. This is the pair. Group number three. For E two, you have to write your values. B three bar, B two bar, B three bar, B two, B three B two, B three B two bar, B one bar, B not bar, B one bar, B not, B one B not, B one B not bar. For first one, from this and this vertical side, horizontal side, we will find B two bar is common. We will write B two bar. For vertical side, we will find B not is common. B two bar plus B not. Next, again similarly, this would be for group two B two bar. Here you will find B one B not B one B not bar. B one is common. Write here B one plus. For group number three, 
horizontally vertically you will get v1 bar v0 bar horizontally you will get v2 common so you got the expression e2 is equals to v2 bar v0 plus v2 bar v1 plus v1 bar v0 bar v2 we have derived it for the e2 similarly we will pursue for the e1 again we will draw the k map table of four variables and write the values as per the protocol of the k map numbered as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 b3 b2 b1 b0 b3 bar b2 bar b3 bar b2 b3 b2 b3 b2 bar b1 bar b0 bar b1 bar b0 b1 b0 b1 b0 bar e1 at zeroth position it is 1 first and second there is a zero first and second there is a zero third fourth there is a one third fourth there is a one fifth sixth there is a zero seventh eighth there is a one ninth is zero rest unused states has to be marked as good k now we will go for the groupings here you can see that this would be one quad this would be another quad first quad second quad so if i'll write the value of e1 this horizontal will automatically strike out because all are included here is only b1 bar b0 bar this is b1 bar b0 bar plus here you will get b1 b0 this is for the e1 no similarly we will pursue for the e0 similarly we will pursue for the e0 again we will draw the four variable k map number it as 0123456789101213141015 e not fill up the value at zeroth position there is a one first position there is a zero second position there is a one third position there is a zero fourth position there is a one fifth position there is a zero sixth position there is a one seventh position there is a zero eighth position there is a one ninth position there is a zero rest you have to write don't cares no you have to pursue for its grouping this would be octet this would be octet and horizontal it will get striked out what is common in between these two this one and this one you will get b not bar so here you will get e not is equals to b not bar we have drive the expression now we will design the circuit for it we will design the circuit for it expression has been tried after driving the expressions we have to design the circuits as 
three, four inputs are there right here. B1, B3, not gate, that would be B3 bar. B2, not gate, that would be B2 bar. B1, not gate, B1 bar. B0, not gate, B0 bar. Now we will pursue for the expression number first, that is E3. One, two, three. Three expressions are there and only two multiplications. One, two, three, two multiplication. For multiplication, we always use AND gate. There is a one multiplication. So one, two, we will use two AND gates over here. First, second. Let us say this is B2, B0. This is B2, B1. You have to connect this B2, B0. This is your B2, B2. This is your B0. Next is a B2, B1. B2, B1. These all are connected to one OR gate because you need the submission with B2. So you will get its value as E3. Similarly, for E2, one, two, three, three AND gates are required. One, two, three. Further, these are applied to a OR gate to get the value of E2. First expression is B2 bar B0. This would be your B2 bar. This would be your B0. Next expression is B2 bar B1. B2 bar. This would be your B2 bar. This would be your B1. Next expression is B1 bar B0 bar B2. B1 bar. B not bar, then there is a B2. This is E2. No, you can pursue for the E1, 1, 2, 2. Either you can see that this is the XNOR gate output. Directly you can apply the XNOR gate. That would be B1, B0. B1, B0, you will get this is E1. Now, as for the E0 is concerned, E0 is only B0 bar. So, this is your E0. In this way, we have designed BCG2 access 3 converter. And if you have to ask to convert access 3 to BCG, method would be identical. Only your truth table will be changed. E3 towards the input side. E3, E2, E1. E0 would be towards the input side. B3, B2, B1, B0 towards the output side. And same process you have to follow. So this is the way how we can convert BCD to access 3 converter. Now we will pursue for the a sky code. A sky code, I told you that. This is an American standard code for information interchange. American standard code for information interchange. This we use in the computers and very useful in the programming language. Just to remember that sky codes. Normally we write it in the seven bit. 0 is said to be 48, 1 is 49, 2 is 40, 50, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 is 51, 4 is 52, 
फाइव इज फिफ्टी थ्री सिक्स इज फिफ्टी फोर सेवन इज फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन As for the because you have already done the C plus plus, it is a case sensitive language. Case sensitive stands for it distinguish between the upper case and lower case. Lower case upper case means capital letter and small letters. So how this dis distinguish A, B, C and so on cap capital Z. Capital A stands for sixty five, B sixty six, C sixty seven and goes up to ninety. that's why differentiate between the capital letters and the small letters upper case and lower case what about the lower case a b c goes up to z a stands for 97 b is 98 c is 99 and this is 122 and there is a blank space its value is 32 so how we can convert anything to the a sky code for example let us say i have a1 b this i have to convert into the a sky code 7 bit i have to write here 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 one time three digits are there 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 this is b small b stands for 98 98 98 you can combine from this 64 plus 32 is 96 plus 2 is 98 so 64 32 and 2 so write here 60 under 64 one under 32 one under 2 one rest they should be zeros next there is a one one stands for 49 one stands for 49 how you can make 49 32 plus 16 plus 1 that would be 49 So under thirty-two, write one. Under sixteen, write one. Under one, write one. Rest is zeros. Then there is a capital A. Capital A stands for sixty-five. Sixty-five. How you can make sixty-five? Sixty-four plus one. Under sixty-four, write one. Under one, write one. So this would be your. a sky code of this number a1b so i leave the task for you each one of you have to make the a sky code of your name for example let us say i'll write aman singh so capital a is 65 small m you have to compute d e f from here you can get the value small a is 97 similarly and you can get the value for the blank space this you have to take care for the blank space you have to fill 32 32 so it would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 times you have to write this 1 2 4 8 6 in 32 64 this is the example i have to given you each one you of you have to convert your equivalent as sky code of your name this is the about the as sky code we will pursue for the next one is a parity checker parity checker parity checker may be even parity or odd parity even parity or odd parity you should have to make the parities accordingly either it should be for the even parity or odd parity how you can see that there is any parity If I write this number, ones are there. It means odd parity. If I write this number, two even, ones are even. It means even parity. So we should have to design a four-bit even parity checker. 
फोर बिट इवन पैरिटी चेक कर पैरिटी चेक कर राइट यर फोर बिट मींस यू हैव टू राइट जीरो टू फिफ्टीन You have to write zero to fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Because this board is a plane, it's better to write the dotted lines so that. we should write it on the alignment we should have to fill up the corresponding binary values over here over here one two four eight put as the this is 0 0 0 1 two is 0 0 1 0 3 is a combination of 2 and 1 2 plus 1 under 4 you have to write 1 5 is 4 plus 1 6 is 4 plus 2 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1 8 is under 8 you have to write 1 9 is 8 plus 1 10 is 8 plus 2 Eleven is eight plus two plus one. Twelve is eight plus four. Thirteen is eight plus four plus one. Fourteen is eight plus four plus two. And fifteen means all ones. We have completed this input site. Now we will go for even parity. So zero. How many ones are there? Only one. So right here zero. How many ones are there in two? Only one. Right here zero. How many ones are three? One, two. It means even. Write here one. In four, only single one. Write zero. In five, two ones. Write here one. In six, two ones. Write one. In seven, one, two, three. Three ones means odd ones. Write here zero. In eight, there is a single one. Write here zero. In nine, there is a two ones. Write here one. In ten, there is a two ones. Write one. In eleven, one, two, three. Three means odd ones. Write zero. In twelve, there is a one, two ones. Write here one. In thirteen, there is a one, two, three, three ones means odd ones zero. In fourteen, one, two, three again odd ones. Write here zero. In fifteen, one, two, three, four, four means even ones. Write here one. So this is the truth table we have completed. By using this truth table, we will design an AK map for the output. in the similar way we have discussed this is b3 b2 b1 b0 00011100000111110 number it as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You should have to fill up these numbers. For P, at zeroth position there is one. We should at third position there is a one. At fifth position there is a one. Sixth position there is a one. Ninth, tenth position there is a one. Twelfth position there is a one. Fifteenth position, there is a one. Rest you have to insert zeros. Rest you have to insert zeros. This would be your K map. Now, right? We have we write the expressions right here: B three bar, B two bar, B three bar, B two, B three B two, B three B two bar, B one bar, B not bar, B one bar. B not B one B not B one B not bar. 
can you see that there is a no grouping at all so write this expression first parity is equals to this one is b3 bar b2 bar b1 bar b0 bar for this expression b3 b2 b1 bar b0 bar for this expression right b3 bar b2 b1 bar b0 for this expression you can write b3 b2 bar b1 bar b0 for this expression you have to write b3 bar b2 bar b1 b0 for this expression you have to write b3 b2 b1 b0 for this expression you have to write b3 bar b2 b1 b0 bar for this expression you have to write b3 b2 bar now you have to see can you take anything common if you will visualize this expression and this expression as we have already done in the full ladder same way we can adopt here same way we can adopt here so by taking the common from here now we will pursue for the simplification of this expression p is equals to from here you can see that this one circled expression b3 bar b2 bar b3 bar b2 bar in bracket there would be b1 bar b2 bar plus b1 b0 this expression has been used b3 b2 here you can see again this one and this one b3 b2 can be taken common b3 b2 here you will get b1 bar b0 b1 bar b0 plus b1 b0 plus this one we have considered next is b3 bar b2 from here you can see this one and this one b3 bar b2 b3 bar b2 here you can take common b3 bar b2 there would be b1 bar b0 plus b1 b0 bar which one is in a left b3 b2 bar b3 b2 bar plus b3 b2 bar here you will get b1 bar b0 plus b1 b0 bar now b3 bar b2 bar it can be written as b1 xor x0 b0 plus b3 b2 this is b1 xor b0 next b3 bar b2 this would be b1 xor b0 and this is b3 b2 bar that would be b1 xor b0 so this is the simplification further you can also take let us say b1 xor b0 b1 xor b0 can be taken common and further this can be expanded or even you can also uh, simplify this and draw the table i uh, draw the circuit for it moving further for the next topic is a multiplexer multiplexer 
its name itself says that we have to multiplex the things many things are there many things are there for example let us say this is a multiplexer it is normally said to be many to one many to one means many inputs one output many input one output if i have to draw its general block diagram i not i1 i2 goes up to i n minus 1 this is enable there is a output s not s1 goes up to s m minus 1 this is n is to 1 max or some book says n cross m max it may be asked with n is to 1 or n cross 1 these are your inputs this is your enable input or stroke this is your select inputs these decides that which input should has to be occur at the output these decides that i will take an example it should be easy for you to understand relation between select lines select lines you can also say is input as select lines and input input lines or inputs is that 2 raised to power m equal to n m stands for number of select lines or inputs n stands for number of inputs i'll take in a simple example if n is 4 that would be 4 is to 1 max if n is 4 that would be 4 is to 1 max how many select lines are required to design this mux it is based on this formula 2 raised to power m equal to n so n is 4 so how many select lines are required two two select lines are required so two select lines has to be denoted as s1 s0 this would be your output this would be your output here 0001011 when both the select lines are zero output at the output there would be i not when both the select lines are 01 i1 i2 i3 see how for 4 is to 1 max for 4 is to 1 max we normally consider two select lines that is s1 s0 and s1 this is the enable enable is compulsory how many inputs are there z i0 i1 i2 i3 this is the output you can name it as n as any i have written that output y output y so it means there is any four inputs i0 i1 i2 i3 at what time i not value should be at the output at what time i1 value should be at the output so there is a condition it is depending upon these select lines if both the select lines means both the s1 is 0 s0 is 0 it means whatever the value if i not having having 1 that would be at the output if i not having 0 that would be at the output no if select line is 0 1 so whatever the value at the i that would be at the output in this way we can define this and i will let you know how we can design its circuit now let us say we have to design the 4 is to 1 mux is circuit diagram when i not at that time s1 is 0 i will write s1 bar s not bar 
for i1 s1 is 0 s1 bar s0 i2 s1 is 1 i will write s1 s2 is 0 s2 s0 bar i3 it would be s1 s0 now how we can design 4 is to 1 mux circuit it is as s1 s1 bar s0 s0 bar 1 2 3 4 4 is 2 1 apply 4 and gives 1 2 3 four apply four and gates here what is required i not s1 bar s not bar i1 s1 bar s not i2 s1 s not bar i3 S one S not understand it carefully. S one bar S not bar. I will do it. S one bar S not bar. And as we have seen in the block diagram, enable is there. Enable has been applied everywhere. So this is the enable input. You should have to attach with everyone. Right here I not. That will give you this expression. no there is a i1 s1 bar this would be your s1 bar s0 this would be your s0 enable is there next is i1 now i2 s1 this would be your s1 s0 bar this would be your s0 bar enable is there then i2 i3 s1 this is your s1 this is your s0 i3 enable is there and this is your i3 because there should be a one output all should has to be applied to the or gate all these has to be applied to the or gate because there should be a one output so that would be y so if you will design 8 is to 1 mux circuit by yourself it would be easy for you to understand the concept in this way we can design the circuit diagram of multiplexer so d multiplexer d multiplexer is just a converse of multiplexer just a converse of multiplexer d multiplexer that is one to many one to many one input many outputs or which should be the output it is again depend upon the select lines it again depends upon the select lines this is the block diagram you can write 1 is to n d mux or some books also write 1 cross n one input output y not y1 y2 goes up to yn minus 1 select lines are s not s1 up to sm minus 1 and again enable or strobe is must enable or strobe is must similar way what we have learnt in the multiplexer we will apply in the d multiplexer so d multiplexer is also used where multiplexer is used 